Hello, I just wanted to cover some of the improvements we've made in the newest version of our water shutoff controller. It's a Z-Wave device compatible with most standard uh, controllers that have a Z-Wave radio. Um, the biggest, uh, well the first improvement was the arm. We've made it a bit longer and a bit wider so it can accommodate more valve types. This has a wider arm and some of the arms the way they're bent you needed it to be longer as well. Um, also we've improved the uh, the stroke it goes a little bit further than 90 degrees to make sure that it's uh, completely closing or completely opening the valve when it finishes its stroke. And the biggest improvement though really is the universal mounting kit. So this new kit accommodates more valves. We've tested it with over a dozen half inch, three quarter and one inch valves and it works very well. It makes the whole mounting process a lot easier. And we've also even tested it with a one and a quarter inch valve. We don't recommend the one and a quarter inch valve but uh, with the right installation it will work. We don't recommend you do this at home. So that's a one and a quarter inch valve. So this is just a number of different valves here that uh, we've had it mounted on. That's a one inch, here's a one inch valve. Uh, here's a, this is a one inch valve, but it has a threaded, in, uh, threaded on both sides. Uh, here's a three quarter inch valve with a press fit or a shark bite on one side and a thread on the other. Sometimes when they have uneven sides it makes it a bit tricky. Here's a three quarter with a shark bite on uh, both sides. And uh, you know of course it works a half inch as well. It's a half inch valve and you know a dozen other types that we've uh, tried. Um, the mounting is very simple now so basically you screw that onto here onto the valve, the top bracket. You put the, uh, the bottom bracket over the valve and then you screw these two brackets together and it looks like uh, this basically. That's it. And I'll just show it to you here working. Um, Alright, so here's an app. This is a controller. So I'm going to close the, pick one of these and close them. And it says closing, it should say closed in a minute and I can open it. So it has status feedback. And it should say open in a minute, there you go. And then I'll just show it to you uh, working with the uh, the water sensor. So here's a, a water sensor, Z-Wave wireless water sensor. Put it in the water here. It beeps. Closes the valve in the laundry. I'm going to dry that off. And now, of course, it stays closed because this is an alert. It sent an alert to my phone as well. And I can go over to the dashboard here, and I acknowledge the uh, the alert. I dismiss it as a false alarm, and then I can go back over here. I can see that the laundry is dry now, and I can open the valve back up. And that's that's it. And just for the fun of it, I think I set up a routine to uh, close all the valves, water off for all of them. Of course, I'll close all four of them there. And that's, that's the end.